Welcome to Animal Realm, your ultimate destination for all things wild. Let's know about the vipers. Vipers are among the most well-known and feared snakes in the world due to their potent venom, distinctive physical characteristics, and widespread presence across various habitats. Belonging to the viperity family, vipers are known for their long, hinged fangs, which they use to inject venom into their prey. This family includes some of the most dangerous and venomous snakes globally, such as rattlesnakes, adders, and pit vipers. Size and appearance. Vipers vary greatly in size depending on the species. They can range from small species, such as the pygmy rattlesnake, which measures around 1.3 feet, 40 centimeters, to large ones like the Gabon viper, which can grow up to 7 feet, 2.1 meters in length. Most vipers have a robust, muscular body that is thicker relative to their length. This gives them a more imposing appearance compared to many other snakes. Vipers are easily recognizable by their triangular-shaped heads, which are much wider than their necks. This distinctive head shape is due to the presence of large venom glands located on either side of their jaws. Their eyes are another striking feature, characterized by vertical, slit-like pupils that give them an intense, almost menacing look. This pupil shape is an adaptation for their primarily nocturnal lifestyle, allowing them to see well in low-light conditions. Fangs and Venom Delivery One of the most defining characteristics of vipers is their long, hinged fangs, which are used to inject venom into their prey. These fangs are located in the front of the upper jaw and can be folded back against the roof of the mouth when not in use. This adaptation allows vipers to have longer fangs compared to other venomous snakes, which they can drive deep into their prey during a strike. When a viper bites, its fangs swing forward and penetrate the prey's flesh, delivering venom through hollow channels. The venom is injected into the prey's body, where it quickly begins to break down tissues and disrupt physiological processes ultimately immobilizing the prey. The ability to fold back their fangs when not in use prevents damage to the fangs and allows vipers to strike with incredible speed and precision. Coloration and Camouflage Vipers are often well camouflaged, with coloration that blends into their surroundings. Their scales are usually adorned with intricate patterns of blotches, stripes, or bands that break up their outline and make them difficult to spot in their natural habitat. These patterns not only help vipers avoid detection by predators, but also allow them to ambush prey more effectively. Habitat and Distribution Vipers are highly adaptable and can be found in a wide range of habitats across the world, from the hottest deserts to dense forests and high mountains. The family Viperidae is divided into two subfamilies, Viperini, True Vipers, and Crotalini, Pit Vipers. Both subfamilies have a broad geographic distribution, with Pit Vipers predominantly found in the Americas and True Vipers in Africa, Europe, and Asia. Desert habitats. Many viper species are well adapted to desert environments, where they can withstand extreme temperatures and arid conditions. The horned viper, Cerastes cerastes, is a prime example, inhabiting the deserts of North Africa and the Middle East. These snakes have specialized scales on their heads that resemble horns, which help to reduce the reflection of sunlight and aid in thermoregulation. In desert habitats, Vipers typically seek shelter during the day in burrows or under rocks to avoid the scorching heat. They are most active at night when the temperatures drop, using their excellent sense of smell and heat-sensitive pits, in the case of pit vipers, to locate prey. Forest habitats. Forests provide a rich and diverse environment for many viper species. The Gabon viper, Vitus gabonica, one of the largest vipers, is native to the rainforests of Central Africa. It is an ambush predator, relying on its superb camouflage to remain undetected as it waits for prey to pass by. The Gabon viper is known for its extremely long fangs, which can reach up to 2 inches 5 centimeters, in length, and its venom, which is both cytotoxic and neurotoxic. In tropical forests, vipers often occupy both the forest floor and the trees. Arboreal species, such as the eyelash viper, Bothricus schlegelii, found in Central and South America, are often brightly colored and use their prehensile tails to navigate the branches. These vipers are usually ambush predators, striking at birds or small mammals that venture too close. Mountainous habitats. Some viper species are adapted to life in mountainous regions, where they must cope with cooler temperatures and lower oxygen levels. The European adder, Vipera baris, is one of the most widespread vipers and can be found across Europe and Asia, often at high altitudes. It is one of the few snakes that can be found above the Arctic Circle, demonstrating its remarkable adaptability. Mountain-dwelling vipers often have darker coloration, 
which helps them absorb heat more efficiently in cooler environments. They tend to be less active than their lowland counterparts, conserving energy in the challenging conditions of their habitat. Nocturnal activity. Most vipers are nocturnal, meaning they are primarily active during the night. This nocturnal behavior helps them avoid the heat of the day, especially in desert environments, and allows them to hunt more effectively. Vipers have excellent night vision, aided by their vertical pupils and, in the case of pit vipers, heat-sensitive pits located between their eyes and nostrils. These pits can detect the infrared radiation emitted by warm-blooded prey, allowing vipers to strike with precision even in complete darkness. Ambush predation. Vipers are typically ambush predators, meaning they lie in wait for their prey to come within striking distance rather than actively pursuing it. Their camouflaged appearance plays a crucial role in this hunting strategy, as it allows them to remain hidden until the perfect moment to strike. When prey is within range, the viper will strike with incredible speed, delivering a venomous bite that quickly immobilizes the prey. Some vipers, like the rattlesnake, use a combination of ambush and active hunting techniques. Rattlesnakes may lie in wait for prey, but will also follow scent trails if they detect the presence of a potential meal nearby. Thermoregulation. Vipers, like all reptiles, are ectothermic, meaning they rely on external sources of heat to regulate their body temperature. They bask in the sun to warm up and seek shade or burrow into the ground to cool down. This behavior is particularly important in regions with extreme temperature fluctuations, such as deserts or mountainous areas. Vipers also use their environment to assist in thermoregulation. For example, they may position themselves on warm rocks or sand to absorb heat or retreat into cooler, shaded areas during the hottest part of the day. Diet and Feeding Habits Vipers are carnivorous and primarily feed on small to medium-sized animals. Their diet typically consists of rodents, birds, lizards, frogs, and sometimes other snakes. The specific prey items vary depending on the viper's size, habitat, and availability of food sources. Hunting techniques. Vipers use a variety of hunting techniques depending on their environment and prey. As ambush predators, 